Hello and welcome to a special edition of UK Crime Caught on Camera. In this one, we're looking at the summer 2024 UK riots. In late July, three young girls were killed during a Taylor Swift-themed dance event in the Merseyside town of Southport. Police soon arrested a 17-year-old boy in connection with the incident. At the time, he couldn't be identified due to his age. False rumours on social media suggest the boy was an asylum seeker or immigrant. This prompted a slew of far-right anti-immigration and Islamophobic protests in Southport. Chaos ensued as riots followed, with many anti-immigration riots and incidents of similar violence and disorder occurring up and down the country. Days later, the alleged attacker was charged with three counts of murder and ten counts of attempted murder. A judge also removed the suspect's identity protection in an effort to stop rumours about his identity fueling further violence and disorder. The suspect is named as Axel Rudakabana. He is not an asylum seeker. He was born in the UK in 2006 and is the child of Rwandan immigrants. Despite this, riots continued across the country in early August. As of the making of this production, over a thousand arrests have been made. Several of those covered today were involved in the disorder at the Holiday Inn Express in Rotherham. The building was said to have been housing asylum seekers. This was the same hotel where rioters smashed windows and started fire by the hotel after clashes with police. So now that we've given you the context, let's get to it. A thug has been sentenced to 14 years, with nine of those behind bars, after his involvement in the mass violent disorder at the Holiday Inn in Rotherham. South Yorkshire police say the man was caught on camera throughout the disorder, showing violence, anger and abuse towards officers. He can also be seen throwing items such as a bin and rocks at officers, who were protecting the vulnerable residents inside the hotel. Police say the man was also filmed deliberately blocking an entrance to the hotel, which was previously set alight with a sheet of wood and a large bin. He was soon arrested by officers for his involvement in the day, which saw over 60 officers injured. He pleaded guilty to violent disorder, arson with intent to endanger life and possession of an offensive weapon. Two men were locked up for a combined four years and two months after taking part in violent disorder in Bristol. Both pleaded guilty to violent disorder. One of the men was caught on camera throwing concrete bricks and a glass bottle towards police officers. Police say he was part of a large group of people that had gathered at the Redcliffe Way roundabout. A judge described his behaviour as aggressive and disgusting and handed him a 30-month prison sentence. Another man was filmed shouting at police officers and in the face of police dogs. This individual was at the front of a group of protesters in Castle Park, where he threatened counter-protesters and was racially abusive. He was jailed for 20 months. A judge said he'd been part of a violent mob, which was violent, threatening, and used racially aggravated language targeting asylum seekers and refugees. A teenager who was caught on CCTV celebrating after throwing bricks at police officers has been convicted. The 18-year-old threw multiple objects at officers who had been deployed to violent disorder in Darlington. Security footage captured him repeatedly throwing bricks and other objects at the officers, with one of them hitting an officer. The 18-year-old was arrested at the scene and charged with violent disorder. He pleaded guilty to the offence and was sent to a young offender's institution. This body-worn camera footage captures the moment a rioter smashes up a police van 
leaving officers trapped inside. The man was seen in the video striking the driver's window of the vehicle during a mass disturbance in Southport. He was part of a mob that had descended on St Luke's Road in Liverpool after three young girls were killed during a mass stabbing at a Taylor Swift themed school holiday club event a day earlier. Footage shows the man in the crowd before the attack milling around and appearing to incite the disorder which was near the mosque. He then approached the stationary van where the police officer was at the wheel and tried to pull the wing mirror off. The thug went on to forcefully punch the window, making the police officer fear for his safety. And it was impossible at that point for the officer to move the vehicle away from the scene, meaning he was, in effect, trapped. The thug pleaded guilty to violent disorder and was jailed for three years. Two thugs involved in the scenes of large-scale disorder at the Holiday Inn Hotel Express in Rotherham have been jailed. The two men joined a violent group's attack on a police dog van. Their actions left the two officers and the police dog inside the vehicle fearful for their safety, due to the immense rocking of the van. The handler of the police dog inside the van had to watch from the crowd, worried for his dog's safety. In his personal victim impact statement, he explained how he had great concern for those inside and his dog. The thug's behaviour was captured on CCTV and following a public media appeal, one of them, a 19-year-old, handed himself into police, admitting he was ashamed of his behaviour. He admitted violent disorder and was sentenced to two years and eight months in a young offender's institution. He was handed a criminal behaviour order for 10 years. The other pleaded guilty to violent disorder and was sentenced to two years in prison. Another man present at the disorder outside the Holiday Inn in Rotherham claimed he was only at the hotel out of curiosity despite being seen aggressively confronting police officers who were there protecting residents. Despite being warned, the man grabbed a riot shield of an officer causing them to fall forwards towards a crowd of thugs. This video footage of the incident led to his arrest and charge. The man pleaded guilty and was sentenced to two years and eight months in prison. Another thug bragged about his involvement in the events that unfolded at the hotel. He explained how he attended the area to be nosy after seeing videos circulate online. Believing he wouldn't get caught for being involved and extremely brazen, the man who was disqualified from driving drove to the area in an uninsured vehicle. When officers interviewed him and questioned why he went, he said, I don't know, I don't bother anyone else and no one bothers me. I was stupid. After he acted out his aggression, abusing officers on the front line and goading them for violence, he left the area, driving his uninsured car again, stopping at a petrol station. While at said petrol station, he provided officers with further evidence and CCTV imagery of himself. Police say he told staff there how he had got caught up with officers and was boasting about injuries to his head. He pleaded guilty to violent disorder and use of a motor vehicle on a public road without third party insurance. He was jailed for two years and eight months. Another thug who faced justice initially answered no comment when he was questioned by officers about his involvement in the violent mass disorder. However, an overwhelming amount of evidence placed him at the scene, with social media videos showing him throwing items at officers. He pleaded guilty to violent disorder and was sentenced to two years and four months. A man who tried to hide from police in a loft 
has been jailed for his part in the violence directed towards officers in Rotherham. The man launched chairs and planks of wood at police officers during the disorder at the Holiday Inn Hotel. He was captured on video loitering around the area where the disorder took place before he actively became involved in the ugly scenes. He turned violent towards police officers by firing missiles at them, kicking a police van, and removing barriers put in place to control crowds. Police say he tried to hide his identity by wearing a face covering, completely oblivious to the fact that he had already been caught on camera. When the bobbies came to arrest him, he tried to evade capture by hiding in the loft, but his legs gave him away. He was then brought down and detained by officers before being brought into custody. The man initially gave no comment during a police interview, but was left with no choice but to admit, yeah, I've thrown bits of wood in that when he was presented with numerous pieces of evidence which placed him at the scene of the violence. He pleaded guilty to one count of violent disorder and one count of assault by beating an emergency worker. He was jailed for two years and eight months. Thanks for watching another episode of UK Crime Core on Camera. If you're watching us on ShotsTV.com or Freeview, thanks so much for supporting our channel. Stay tuned for more authentic UK television coming up. If you've come here from our YouTube channel, thank you. We really appreciate your support. You'll always find UK Crime Core on Camera on ShotsTV.com. We're slowly building a following here and we'll continue to post videos as much as we can on YouTube. But our shows will always premiere on ShotsTV.com first. Thanks for watching.